cleaning out a grain bin today. Be prepared to get dusty. This is a smaller grain bin, only 5,000 bushels, but I want to show you the basics of, of how they are set up. There's two components to it. So this is where the fan is, and you can actually see it just like that. Now when we have the heater on or the burner going, you can actually see the flame in there as well. It would be really loud if we had it on, because that second part that I mentioned, this is where the heating element is. So it's pulling in fresh air, warming it if we have the heater on to dry grain down and then sending it across the bottom of the bin. It works its way up through the bin, through all of the grain. To the How much is a bushel? Technically 56 pounds, but that still doesn't give you any type of visual of how much is a bushel. So a bushel is actually just shy of two five gallon buckets. So I have two five gallon buckets sitting here for you just shy of it. So this is a good example because it is a little bit lower. Gives you a rough idea though when I talk about bushels, what we're looking at. And in case you're curious why I have corn in the shop, we actually heat with a corn burner. So that's what you see there. Inside the bin, this is the unloading auger. There's a hole right here and that's where the grain's going down into it to get out. That's the sweep auger you see. It's moving the grain to the center of the bin and it circles around as we clean it out. Notice how dusty this corn is. It was just the type of year that we had. Notice the rings on the side of the bin and then in front of us right here are what we call the sturiators. They actually move like an auger as well that actually helps to uh, circulate the grain throughout throughout the time that it's in there. Those layers of red are where the corn stuck to the side of the bin and that's due to moisture. Some snow got into this bin over winter time and caused it to spoil. In the very center of the green bin, oh, it just moved. <laughs> in the very center of the green bin, you're gonna find the unloading auger, which is what takes the grain out of the green bin. If you look closely then, there are slats in the bottom of the floor, and the reason there are slats is so that way airflow can move throughout the entire bin to keep the grain at the pro proper temperature and uh, moisture level. Semi used to move the grain from point A to point B or C, wherever it is that you're going. And of course we fill it from the top, but how do you get it out? Right there two different places for the front of the semi and the back of the trailer. Um, you actually just, just open up and the grain falls out.